Earlier on, we spoke lightly on the precordal plates when we were talking about the notochord, okay? Where we said that the notochordal process extends from the primitive node to the precordal plates, okay? And when it extends from the primitive node to the precordal plates, it becomes the notochord properly, okay? So now, let's talk about the formation of the precordal plate now. How is the precordial plate formed? Now, by day 14, the circular embryonic disc begins to show changes that determines its axis. All right? So now, at one circular area near the margin of the disc, the cuboidal hypoblast becomes columnar. All right? So now, this area is the precordial plate. All right? So this area... Um, Cuboidal hypoblast becomes columnar. It means that uh, you see the precordial area is because of the precordial. Uh, okay, uh, the cuboidal hypoblast. Okay, becomes columnar. Okay, it becomes circular, and this circular portion is forms. It call is called the precordial plate. All right. So now the appearance of the precordial plate determines the central axis of the embryo. Okay. So, let me just shed more light. Know that the, the notochordal process is growing to the precordial plates, okay? So, if the precordial plates grows at this side, then the notochordal process will grow this side. If the precordial plates grows at this side, the notochordal process will grow to this side, okay? You guys understand what I mean now? Okay, so, where the precordial plates develops determines the central axis of the embryo, all right? So this is a precordial plate, and this is a notochordal process growing to the precordial plate, all right? So this plate, that's a precordial plate, indicates the future site of the mouth, all right? Where the precordial plate appears is where uh, the mouth we develop at, okay? So it is also an important organizer of the head region since you said that it determines the central axis that means it is it is actively involved in organization of the head region right so guys that's it about the formation of the precordial plates how the precordial plate is formed and um, determine a determination of the future site of mouth All right so that's it see you guys in the next tour